Okay, so before we end this part, I was on the Watchtower here. Watchtower are definitely important, right? You don't want to make Watchtowers and you just have them standing here with a Watchtower. It will reveal something. It will something very crucial. If you are playing, I'm playing here now. So for me, I would love to have this Watchtower if my opponent is over here, right? Definitely important if he's in this area. But even if he's in here, this Watchtower will help me a lot. But I can see any movements. When the units are moving down here, you can see it perfectly as you can see, but I will be able to see, you know, where this, this is how it should be. And so that, that's really good. And obviously, you can see this place here. So that, that's, you know, what I want. And uh, as you see here, you can't actually see. So you, see you, can, you can see how your pylons here. I, I want this is definitely, this is on purpose. I want you not to be able to spot this area. You have to still. You can hire your units here, you can have your DTs, I would say, but <laughs> you can hire your non units Yeah, you can have your DTs there, that would happen a lot. You can hire your workers or whatever, you can have your probe here. This is uh, intended by me. So you have your units here. I hate idle units. And uh, it's, a big part, it's a big part of the map. Uh, and then the very beginning, uh, yeah, probably wrong. This uh, middle thing here are not rich resting gas, they're not, they're not gold. Because I'm best boys as you see portion in this map, but I didn't want it to make the same thing, right? So I want to have middle thing as that with a top, a uh, top uh, defendable uh, middle. So in that regard, it would be too easy to have a goal or a gas or whatever. So I made it normal instead. And uh, with the other expansions, I mean, you have four expansions basically before you have the middle or possibly this one. So the middle one are very late. So they're, they're more for that free for all of the map. The map is. Uh, the map is intended for one as one, but definitely a good free for all map as well. And kind of reference two is two, but especially one as one or free for all. So this middle thing are mainly free for all. I have written here because I have side so. And I really like the dynamic of this map because let's say you play a death ball or the mech usually against Zerg, against the most, but uh, also against Terran if you're death ball so. And against boss, I guess, and <laughs> whatever, and so on and so on. You you want you don't really want to move this path as I mentioned in part one. You probably want to actually move this path. So I really want the mech player to think, hmm, I probably should get at least one tour and break this down to get a much smaller. It's still not that small because I tried to have this actually smaller. I may actually have a hole here or so on, but it was like this is too easy for the mech player to just move up here and kill the surface down here. So I felt you couldn't do that, so you have to be like slightly worried. But still, you want to probably go this path. And this thing actually ought to help the attacking player then. Because if you move with the mech over here, this will defend your death ball and so on. It's defend if you have this uh, land rockers. And uh, but by doing this, the player opens up this path. So you can really easily punish him when he attacks, right? So that's what I, what I really like. Because then it's really hard to use your... Uh, I mean, the user has to take decisions. Do I want to open this path? Well, I want to use my death ball and move up here. Okay, but then the links can run in here, or the DTs can run in here, or whatever. Uh, or the bio, I guess. But mainly, like, those fast units are really annoying, right? So that, that's a good part of the game. And in the same way, if you break his path, to leave you up towards the sample, so play, that's probably pretty good. But then he can attack you later, this path, right? If you break up both this path, you can help him. Get one more attack pattern and so on. Love of decisions. Uh, this probably is the biggest, widest map you've ever seen in your life. So it's a very, very wide map. I'm thinking of actually adding one more hole on the map. You know, to make it hollow. So make it one hole here as well. And then, of course, one or three, be more as well. Of course, you it. And the holes in now, then, of course, you can hide your overlords on them. You have your hole here. And you can have units yeah, you can hold uh, And you can of course fly here, mutas can fly up here and so on, right? Harass units and yeah, units. Phoenixes and so on. And you of course have the beetle thing here as well then. So li the limiting of the map. Pretty good. And uh, so yeah, there's a very wide map. It's very easy to defend your first two bases. Really hard to attack your third base. As you can see you have Moonray in my mech unit and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> and then you have and I really like it, dependable turrets, depending on where the opponent is. And really important watchtowers. No high yield anywhere, so very bad spec in that sense. Mirror map, of course. And I'm gonna do a third part, where I'm gonna talk about the terrain, talk about the light, and stuff like that. So it's not really interesting in the gameplay in a sense, 
slightly but more like level design i would say so hopefully i will see you in that part as well